Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to take the database that we built in parts one and two, and we're going to split it. What does that mean? We're going to break it up into a front end and a back end file. We're going to do that because it'll make it easy to switch your company data. If you want to do, you know, balance information for two companies or two people, I just picked company A, company B, because I'm going to want to be able to switch this back and forth with my actual data and the class data, right? So I'm gonna make it so you can split the database and pick which one of those company files you wanna use. It's also great if you got multiple people that you wanna track account balances for, like you and your wife or whatever, right? You got your set of accounts, you got her set of accounts and you don't wanna keep them together. All right, well, here you go. Okay, first up, since this is part three, if you haven't watched parts one and two yet, go watch those first. I'll put links down below. Go watch those and come on back. And since we're going to be splitting our database today, go watch this video so you understand the how and why about splitting your database. The benefits, why you'd want to do it, and I go through a simple example. I'm going to walk through it again in a few minutes, but this, this video is going to give you a lot more of the theory behind it. These are free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go watch them now. Come on back. There's another helpful video on relinking tables, which is kind of what we're going to do today, too. Um, this is optional. I'll put a link for this down below, too. Okay, so what's up? So I'm doing part of this video for me because we're building a database here that I plan on using myself. All right, like I mentioned, I'm putting this together for my fiance. I have to be quiet because she hasn't seen this yet and she's in the next room. Uh, but I am also going to want to do this for my own finances for, uh, for what I have now in a spreadsheet. I'm going to put into access. So since this is also going to be for me, I'm going to split the database because I want to have two sets of data that I can switch between. I want to have the data that I show you in class and then I want to use it with my personal data because a lot of the times you don't really see the nuances of your database or, or until you actually work with real data. I can play with, you know, Jean-Luc Picard and sample data all day long, but until I start actually putting my own actual data in there, that's when you start to see, oh, I really needed to do this. I want to do that when you work with it on a daily basis. And since I want to do that between videos, I don't want you all seeing my real numbers. So I want to be able to easily switch between the two. So in this video, we're going to split the database. I'm going to show you how to um, quickly relink to a different file in the background. It's basically, it's essentially, it's as easy as just renaming a file. All right. And for the members in the extended cut, we'll make a button so you can pick which file you want to work with. Okay. Because we've already written that code in the relink tables extended cut. I'm just going to tweak that a little bit to make it so it's not something that, oh, the table, the back end's missing. We're going to just be able to pick a different one. Normally, I wait until a database project is close to completion before I do this step. I want to get the thing built and then I'll split it. But like I said, I, I want to work with this myself. So I'm going to start using the database as, as I'm building it every day for you with you guys with my regular data. So I'm doing this up front because it's easier to work with a data database that you're building if it's all together in one file, because right now, if I want to make a change to the account T, I can just do it right here, right? But if this is a split database, then I got to open up the back end, I got to find the table, I got to change it there, and then I got to go back to the front end. So it does add a little bit of work that way, but I would rather have the ease of switching back end files right now. So we're going to do that today. But first, before we do the splitting, I want to clean this up a little bit, and it's not the tech help free template anymore. All right, we're going to rename this thing. So let's start with this. Let's go to file options. And where's the name? Uh, current database. All right, we're going to call this account balances by access learning zone. Okay. Hit OK. And then let's change that here. Design view. And I'm going to put in here. Let's go account balances. And we're going to go version 0 0.03. Why that? Well, it's zero means it's pre-release. That's this is my own personal thing. Every software company is different. Zero means it's pre-released and dot zero three means it's from lesson three. I'll try to remember to change this every class, but I'm horribly bad at it. So if you see this is out of whack in future videos, just yell at me, post in the comments and go, hey, forgot, change the thing. Okay. Let's change this up. We'll just put here. Oh, don't change it over here. Remember, don't change it here. Otherwise, the labels 
dimensions get all messed up. Click here, and change the caption here. Count balances. And it doesn't fit, of course. Let's drop the size down to 28. There we go. Count balances. And let's go, let's go green. Let's go, not theme color. So pick that green and then let's, let's work with it. I don't like to use the theme colors because you could easily change the theme and you mess all your colors. It's not transparent. What did I just do? Let's go back to green. And then let's go more colors. That's what I meant to hit before. Let's go dark. There we go. I'm going to change you to... Yes, I know. You can click over on the right in the property thing. I, this is the way I've always done it. Let's go like this. That's not too bad. We don't need the today is. Get rid of that. Keep this around. I like to keep this around for debugging until I'm done. Because you can use this for all kinds of stuff. This will be the main thing here. Accounts. Whoops. Accounts. And let's see. No, this will open up from the other one. We don't need any of the rest of these. So for now, we can just delete these guys. Okay. We just need the one button for now. We're going to add more later, of course. Save it. This will be the accounts button. Account button. Try to keep it singular. Let's see what our code mess is. All right. Keep status. We don't have a customer contact button, customer form button, customer list button. Our account button click we haven't done yet. Form load does do startup. Um, that's for me. All it really does is it's got some functions that I use. It, re it just repositions and resizes my access database. Gold members, feel free to dig through there and see what, what it's all about. You can download this one. Um, actually, no, this isn't the free template. Anybody can get this. So you can go, go f see what, if you could find my do startup function. And then uh, we'll keep this around. So in here, we need to open up our main account form, which is going to be do command open form. Ah, open. I can't type today. Open form account F. And that's it. All right, close it, open it, looks good, count balances, all right, accounts, and there we go. I'm going to slide this right down. Let's put it there. I like to be able to see it like a progression. Save that, and then we'll have our other one, our transactions, open up over here. I'm still on the fence as to whether or not I want to make it two forms or just put it, put them as subforms inside a parent form. I don't know. That's one of those things that I won't really be able to tell what I like better until I start actually using this thing every day in the morning when I check my balances, right? This isn't very helpful. It's, it's when I sit down, because I do this every morning. I check like my top five or six accounts every morning. It takes me about 15, 20 minutes, but I don't mind doing it. And I don't want you guys seeing my real numbers in here. They're embarrassing. You know, maybe I got to go make some of those, those funny cat videos and get some views on YouTube and maybe I'll make some money then. No, I'm just, <laughs> no I, don't, I don't really do this for the money. I love access. I would probably do this even if I was independently wealthy. I love this stuff and I've been, I've been working with access for so long and teaching it. I just, it's just what I think about. Um, anyways. All right. Let's split this guy. Now. Yes, there is the wizard. I showed you in the other video. You can use a wizard to do this. Honestly, I, I like just doing it manually. It's, it's easier. Here's how I do it. First, I'm going to set up a folder. We'll call this account balances. Keep this on my desktop or wherever your database folder is. You're working on stuff. I'm going to move all this stuff in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this guy, copy, paste. All right, this is going to be my backend file. So, uh, account balances backend. Okay, and this guy will be my front end, account balances. All right, or whatever you want, however you want to rename them. And in fact, I'll try to remember to keep the version number on here too. So, 0 0.03. That way you can tell which what it is based on the file name. Okay, now in the back end, open that up. All right, we don't need anything in here except the tables. So take all of these objects, click, shift, click, and delete them. Are you sure? Yup. Back everything up first, folks. No, I'm not gonna show you the slide again. Back everything up, okay? And also in here now, get rid of any startup events you have. I don't think I have one in this database. Let me see, yeah, I got rid of it. I used to have a startup form in here, but I switched to an auto exec Mac. We talked about that before. So now all this guy has in it is the tables. Okay. In fact, let's leave that open. Leave that open. All right. Because we're going to keep, probably make some modifications. So I'm just going to slide this out of the way. For now. 
All right, now open up the front end, this guy. All right, now close the main menu. Now the front end does not need these tables because we're gonna link to the other database. So delete, make sure, y'all. Okay, now we got it link to them manually. So external data, new data source from database, access, link to the data source, browse, where you at, desktop, account balances, backend, open, hit OK. Select them all, hit OK, and there you go. We're now linked. So you open this up, it's actually pointing at that other file. Okay, now, members in the extended cut, we're gonna make an actual button on here. We can click on it to switch the back end. Okay? And then we'll even put a little thingy on here to show what the back end is. Now, how can the rest of you switch companies like I wanna do? Well, let me close down access here. Actually, I'll close down this. All right, so right now, this file is looking at that file name. Okay? So let's say you wanted to have company A and company B. Okay, all you have to do is just rename the file that based on which one you're working with. So let's say this represents company A right now. Okay, let's make a copy for company B. So copy, paste, and this will be, right, company B.accdb. Okay, all right. So you're done working with company A for the day. Close down access. You want to switch this now. Okay, what you're going to do is you're just going to rename this company A. All right, now if you, if you loaded up access right now, it, it would give you an error because it can't find its backend, watch. Then you try opening something, right? So what you're gonna do then is you're just gonna simply rename company B to be that. So just swap between those two things. So now if I open it up, all right, now I'm in company B. And yeah, you gotta go to the, you know, the folder to do that, but that's, that's the simple, easy way. And I've done this for years. I've swapped between files like that all the time. As long as you know the current one is the not the one you're in. So if this is company A, then that's gonna be company B. All right, and again, we'll have a more elegant solution in the extended cut. All right, so in the extended cut, we're gonna make it so that this isn't a manual process because switching these backend files by hand, if it's something you only do once in a while, it's not that big of a deal. But if you plan on doing it regularly, like me, right, I'm gonna teach you guys with company A and then I'm gonna switch to company B, which is my real numbers. I just wanna be able to click, drop it down, and you know, just have access do all the work for me. So here it is, I'm in company A, right? Go to my accounts list, there's company A. I just changed the mortgage name so it says company A. All right, let's do a switch to company B. Bink, done. Access relinked the backend files for me automatically. Now if I go into accounts, you can see there's company B, right? Little bugle boy from whatever, company B, is it? How's the song go? Okay, so if you wanna learn how to do that, it's VBA code, not a ton of it, but it's pretty good stuff. Um, it's covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members and up can download these databases. So when I'm done with them, you can download them and you can see what I did. So check it out. Join today. Thanks. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something, folks. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos 
access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.